And this year, the forum is all about IONE. What is that exactly? IONE is NTT's vision for the next internet. And it's based on the idea of creating uh, a future internet that is much more sustainable than it is today. It's an acronym for uh, Innovative Optical and Wireless Network, uh, which is based on the idea of uh, optical technology. And optical technology, that's transmission through light. Right, and we've known optical technology for a while now, but now we're taking that technology and, and, and using it in many different ways to create new applications that people can use to develop the next internet. What are we going to see here? So this is one of the exhibit rooms where we're going to uh, have an, a look at one of the examples of how photonics is used for uh, the future of computing. And this here is actually a great example of one where we are using photonics communications by putting a data center in space. A data center in space. Why not? <laughs> Should data centers go everywhere else, why not put them in space? However, today, you're not able to communicate uh, effectively enough from a space data center to a station on the Earth. So what you see here is um, an example where we have a satellite up at the top here. And this satellite would have computing resources. And these are examples of photonic uh, communications. So space computing networks is another way of having a highly sustainable technology that prepares us for the future. The need for computing resources is going to just skyrocket as we continue to drive demand on the internet. And so the infrastructure that we have today can support all the new services that, that people are going to expect. So you have then ION as the, the infrastructure and around that here are some of the demonstrations of applications of how ION technology can then be used to drive digital transformation to make the internet more efficient. Yeah, and this is a great opportunity for us to open our doors and share all of the great things that we're trying to do here. It's incredible to see. And yeah. this is just one of the R&D centers. There are others across yes, Japan, I believe. distributed across Japan. We have others, not as big, but still very critical to our business. Um, and just over here, I found this one very interesting because it, uh, it talks about uh, a new way to do computing called disaggregated computing. What is disaggregated computing? So the idea behind disaggregated computing is um, something that uh, we've been trying to achieve in the industry for a long time, which is to reduce bottlenecks within a computer by separating the functions of different chipsets. But electronics creates a lot of heat. So the idea here is now to re remove the electronics and replace it with photonics. And if you can now com connect all of those computing resources through photonics, the computer now is no longer just in one place. It's connected to wherever there's a photonic network. So we've seen ION now in terms of the photonic network. We've seen ION in terms of the chips. What are we going to have a look at now? Well, somebody's getting a standing ovation here. Oh, this is an e-games event. What are we going to see next? What we have here is an application of ION. And uh, what we have is showing remote operations, or a surgeon operating here, and uh, a patient over here, but connected with an ION network. Because you can't afford any delay between right. the instruction and the operation. And this is an example of how low latency, high speed, uh, high capacity networks can be applied to the real world where you can see here uh, the operation is happening on a patient but the surgeon is actually could be anywhere in the world. It's just mind-blowing when you think about the capability that this has to deliver surgery right back to where there may be a huge need for these kind of operations where it's just not possible for the surgeons to get in. It's incredible and uh, we're very proud of this because this is another example of contributing to society and a more sustainable technology by saving lives in ways that we couldn't have done it before. But this isn't all that's here. What are we going to see now? No, there's so much more we have to see and I can't wait to show you the rest. I can't wait Let's to see carry it. carry on.